Manchester, where ideas become reality. Well, we started about three years ago, and it's an initiative from the Manufacturing Institute, and we're working alongside the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and uh, we thought that Manchester was an absolutely perfect place uh, for this new, if you want, industrial revolution of making things yourself. And what we bring to people is the ability to make almost anything, so they can come here and learn how to use the machines and then through the digital fabrication technologies that we have here they can make almost anything. Well we work with uh, of course the public, the general public come in but very vibrant are the students. The students uh, and especially when I was an engineering student you don't get allowed to use an experiment in the lab of your university so many of the practicals that you do are very set uh, and they don't encourage you to, to improvise as it were. But of course there's lots of people who don't have access to these machines, who don't go to university, aren't part of a large company, and we openly invite them to come and uh, develop their ideas and learn new techniques. The great thing about Fab Lab and the great thing um, about the people here is it's a very much try it and see, um, which you don't see in a lot of places. A lot of places they'll be like, I'll iterate until it's perfect, and here it's just, you know, you've got all the equipment, it, try an idea, design something, mock something up, it doesn't have to be finished, give it a go and see what happens and then we'll sit down, we'll have a chat about it and see you know, what could be changed and what could be altered and what could be made better. Um, and I was actually able to prototype a product uh, using the, product, using the uh, equipment that's here that subsequently became a, uh, sort of a success. I think the Fab Lab is a great place to uh, be introduced to tech new technology, the laser cutters, the 3D printers, and to meet people uh, and learn about these things. Without the Fab Lab, um, where would people get this experience? Because uh, I don't think it's been uh, done at this level in schools. I've, I've yet to come across someone who hasn't come in here and just been like overawed by, oh, crikey, this is possible, that's possible, and just pushing the boundaries of, of, of what you can actually do and create for yourself. The Fab Lab network is developing quite quickly now. Three years ago we were the first Fab Lab in Britain. Uh, this year there are nine Fab Labs uh, and in about three years time we hope to be uh, opening 30 around Britain.